Hello people, today we are going to learn about enterprise environmental factors and organizational process asset. So let's see. Uh, enterprise environmental factors refer to conditions and not under the control of project team that influence, constrain or direct the project. So in one word it can be said as external variables that impact a project. So enterprise environmental factors are considered input to most planning processes, may enhance or constrain project man management option and may have a positive or negative influence on the outcome. Enterprise environmental factors vary widely in type or nature. Enterprise environmental factors include organizational culture, structure and governance, geographic distribution of facilities and resources, government or industry standards, example regulatory agency regulations, code of conduct, product standards, quality standards, workmanship standards, infrastructure, example existing facilities and capital uh, equipment, company work authorization system, existing human resource example skills disciplines and knowledge such as a design development legal contracting and purchasing personal administration example staffing and retention guideline employee performance review training re reward and overtime pol policy and time tracking Marketplace conditions, stakeholder risk tolerance, political climate, organizations established communication channels, commercial databases, example standard cost estimating data, industry risk, study information, risk databases, project management information system, example automated tools such as scheduling software tool, configuration management system, an information collection and distribution system, web interfaces to other online automated system. So, uh, I hope you got some idea on what is an enterprise environmental fa uh, factors. These are mainly external variables that impact project. And examples uh, I just read it out to you. Uh, in short, I can say it's market trends, strategy and condition, organizational structure, culture, governmental or industry standards, project management information system, infrastructure, personal administration, work authorization system, industry specific PM body of knowledge. So let's see what are organizational process assets. Organization, organizational process asset are the plan, processes, policies and procedures and knowledge bases specific to, you, specific to and used by performing organizations. So what are these? These are plans, processes, policies, procedures and knowledge bases which are specific to and used by performing organizations. So this is a very important line to remember regarding organizational process asset. They include any artifact, practice or knowledge from any or all the or all of the organization involved in the project that can be used to perform or govern the project. These process assets include formal and informal plans, processes, policies, procedures, knowledge bases specific to or used by performing organizations. So it can include formal and informal things. The process assets also include the organization knowledge bases such as lesson learned and historical information. So this is very important. We, you will use this throughout the uh, man, planning management. So let's see what else is there. Organization process asset may include completed schedules, risk data and uh, earned value data. Organization process assets are inputs to most in most planning processes. 
So lesson learned and historical information and other uh, process are, are, impo are most important things and are used to for the input to most of the planning processes which we will learn later. Throughout the project, the project team members may update and add to organizational process assets as necessary. Organizational process assets may be grouped into two categories, process and procedures and corporate knowledge base. So let's see once again what we can put in the process and procedures, uh, processes and procedures and corporate base no uh, knowledge base. In case of processes and procedure, we can put processes, policies, safety, health, ethics. In case of procedures, we can put financial, change control, risk and time, template, guidelines, closure, communication. In case of corporate, corporate knowledge base, we can put databases um, such as measurements, defects and financials. And other thing is historical information, lesson learned and project files. So guys, I hope you got some idea on what is enterprise environmental factor and organization process asset. Uh, thank you for watching and subscribe to my channel for more video on PMP and other things. Thanks for watching.